Ren Wims will make a quick trip to the hospital and use her genetic material to have a new baby through science. Are you ready to add a newborn to your household? Yes, here we go. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Heffman and we are back today to play some more of the Whimsy Story Legacy Challenge with our second generation Sim, Ren. In our last episode, Ren saw a couple promotions from work. We celebrated Harvest Fest and Madeline aged up into a child. And with the celebration of Harvest Fest and the extra money that Ren earned with her promotions at work, we were actually able to upgrade the house. So we come over here in the game, you will see the house looks a little bit different. So I did put it, build a new house for them and we have lots of space now. And in fact, there is even a little nursery right here. And I think what we're going to do today is we are going to have Ren have a science baby once she has the money. Right now, after building the house and furnishing the house, um, we only have 72 simoleons. So we need Ren to earn a little bit of money before we can have our science baby. But we've got a room all ready for the science baby. We should have her come and grade some homework. So Ren is currently a department head. She is in the education career, which she needs for her generation. And she is a super parent. So we do need to max our parenting skill as well as the research and debate skill. So I think while we're kind of waiting for Ren to save up the money to adopt, to have a science baby, we maybe should have her working on her skills a little bit. So Ren has to have four children, which she is doing completely on her own. Her first child is Lily, who she adopted. So she fostered Lily and then she adopted her when she was a child. Lily is goal oriented and actually she needs to do some homework. We'll have her do, well, she's, we'll have her do some of her extra credit work. She is a high school student. She is getting an A and she is also on the football team. And then we have Madeline, who just aged up into a child. Ren adopted her from a foster as well. She was a toddler that Ren fostered, and she has now adopted her. And Madeline is an outgoing sim, and she is a social butterfly, and she would like to make a friend. So one of the other things that I'm thinking we should probably do today is get a friends group for little Madeline because she is going to be a social little kid and make lots of friends. So having a friends group would be really useful. And this gen also always has to have a pet in the house. And this is our pet Pippa. She is a sleuth, which means she does strange things like jump up on the counters and like the fridge and she's always like looking for clues or something. It's, it's an interesting thing. Okay, I think we're going to send Lily to school alone today. So she and Madeline will ha and Ren, they're all going to head off to school. Lily got a below average test result. That's not good. But I forgot Lily wasn't feeling well. She is feeling a little bit off. She isn't sure what's wrong. So she needed to go to the doctor. So we're going to send her off to the doctor, I think and get this checked out and see what's wrong. She's gonna have to go alone though because Ren is at work and so she's gonna head off to the doctor. Madeline is home and we wanted to have a friends group for her so we're going to make a club for Madeline's friends. Okay so we made a little friends group for Madeline. We've added some local children into the club so she can get to know some of them. So maybe we'll go ahead and start this club gathering and let everybody come over and we can have little Madeline start to socialize with them. Not that there's a ton to do in their house, but you know, they can all watch TV together or something. And she does need a friend. So let's come down and start talking to Julia Bergson. All right, Ren has come home from work. She earned 688 simoleons. So we still don't quite have enough for a science baby yet because science babies are 1,200 simoleons. Although we do have a bunch of like extra photos in our inventory. Maybe if we sell those. Let's see what happens if we sell those, if we have enough. We do. We just have enough if we sell all that stuff. Oh, no. 
Lily has been diagnosed with a chronic condition, diabetes. She will need to monitor her blood sugar by eating healthy, hydrating, exercising, and if need be, taking insulin found by clicking on the SIM or glucose tablets found at the pharmacy. Oh dear. Okay, so Lily can find the options to take insulin available on the SIM and glucose tablets are available over the counter. Okay. And Lily has headed off to football practice, which is good because it said exercise was good for her. And we do now have 1,300 simoleons for having a science baby. And we had thought about who she might have a science baby with, if that would work. And I'm kind of considering Trayvon. Now, she and Trayvon have been friends ever since they were little kids. Like, he was her first friend, and they've always had a really good relationship with each other. And it would be something where she's pretty much raising the child, but she would take, like, a donor from Trayvon. I could see that being the person that she kind of goes with for that. Meanwhile, Madeline's out here talking to all of her friends. I guess we shall... We'll send them all home because it is kind of dinner time and we are definitely considering this baby for Ren. However, we need to eat because, or we need to make some food because we've eaten all the food that was in the fridge. Probably because our siblings keep coming over and eating the food that's in the refrigerator when I'm cooking other food. So we'll have Ren make some hamburgers real quick. And then I think on Saturday, we'll have her, we'll do the science baby. Okay, Lily is back. She needs a shower really badly. So let's have her take a shower. She was at football team practice. That's coming along fairly well. Now she, it does have diabetes. So we do need to pay attention to that. We can have her check her blood sugar level, do injection. Okay, so her blood sugar is 76.38, and in this system, high is 75 and over, and low is 25 and under. So maybe we better have her take, do some insulin. Okay, sure, Madeline can like fitness. So when she's done with the shower, we'll have her inject insulin. Okay, insulated. Lily's insulin shot helped lower her blood sugar. Okay, good. So she's... She is doing okay with that. So we'll have to remember to consistently check her blood sugar so that we don't have a problem. Ren, you were supposed to be cooking. What happened to what you were making? Did you put it someplace weird? Oh, Trayvon has just called. Interestingly enough, we were just talking about him, and he said, hey, if no one has told you yet, the Spice Festival is a great place to get free food. Come with me, and I'll show you how to fill up on samples for nothing. I think we're going to send Ren, because we were just talking about Trayvon, and the potential of them having a science baby. So maybe she's going to head off to the Spice Festival, hang out there with him, and maybe it's there that she'll bring this up to him and ask him if he's okay with it. Because I think she would ask him if, if he was okay with it rather than just... Because I think she would talk to him first rather than just doing it without talking to him. All right, so we're at the, the Spice Festival. I'm going to talk to him a little bit. All right, so we need to sample five different foods. It's raining. Okay, what if we come over here? What do we have? We have empanadas, pork adobo, koi cone. I don't know if I said that correctly. More pork adobo and pho. Uh, oh, Trayvon hates children. Ooh, maybe maybe he's not going to want to have a science baby. Okay, let's come and sample the pho. Ren is feeling inspired from the savory aromas of the Spice Festival. Oh, Angela has called. Angela was another person. Okay, hey Ren, Desmond Tanalu has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? I don't know who Desmond is, but Ren is always one to encourage her friends in romance. Even though Ren is unflirty and isn't interested in a romantic relationship, she's going to say yes, go for it. All right, so we're going to sample a bit of pho and see how Ren likes that. Fantastic food, okay, and a delicious morsel. All right, let's sample the pork adobo. We've got some really flaming hot uh, Spice Festival contest curry over here. All right, she has sampled all the food. Where did Trayvon go? Trayvon is over here playing basketball. Okay. Well, let's go and talk to him a little bit. So she's just kind of checking in with him and seeing how things are going. She knows he has gotten married and he's like, how is that going? He's like, oh, it's, it's pretty good. 
You know, I started becoming a vegetarian. I don't really eat meat anymore, and I feel really good about that. And Ren is like, I'm really glad that you made that decision. I'm back in the teaching career. I'm now head of the department, and things are finally starting to go in the right direction from me for me. And then she's going to say, you know, I've adopted my two kids, but I'd really like to have my own child. And we've been friends for so long. Would you want to have a science baby with me? And he said, yes, he would be good with that. And so in the morning, so in the morning, we will ascend Ren to have the science baby. All right, it is getting kind of late. Ren is getting kind of tired. So we're going to wrap things up here at the Spice Festival and head on home. Now that we have a bigger house, one of the things we could do, and especially now that Madeline has a friends group, is maybe we need to have a sleepover. We also need to have Lily making some friends too. It is a Saturday morning now, and little Madeline is attending to the dog. Ren is taking a quick shower. She's gonna make some breakfast for everybody. Maybe we'll do a fruit and yogurt parfait for breakfast. Lily is out having a little bit of a jog to kind of clear her mind and to get some exercise to kind of help things with her diabetes. We will also, we should probably check her blood sugar too to see if it's okay and in the right range. And if it isn't, have her take some insulin so she stays okay and healthy. And then after they're done having breakfast and doing all of that, I think that's when we will ascend Ren off to have her science baby with Trayvon. Oh no, Lily's blood sugar is really high and she is feeling really dazed. So we better have her inject some insulin and get that taken care of. Maybe hold off on eating the fruit and yogurt parfait a second. She is hungry, but we gotta watch that. We gotta be careful with her. So if we check it now, okay, it has come down, so it's okay for her to eat. She has asked Ren some advice. She said she really wants to be friends with someone, but they don't really seem to want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? And I think Ren would tell her that she should just keep being friendly and that if she does that and they want to be her friend, they will be. But if that still doesn't work, then maybe they need to find friends with somebody else. Lily is socially awkward, so making friends can be really difficult for her. She had a really rough childhood in the foster system, so she's really kind of struggled making friends. And so that's why the friend group that we made for her is going to become really important. And I think that maybe having her get together with some of those friends might not be a bad idea. But Ren is sitting here and she's telling them about her plans to have a science baby. And how she loves that she has been able to adopt both of them, but she wants to have a newborn and raise a child from that standpoint. And both of the girls, they feel okay about that. So let's go have a science baby. Ren Wims will make a quick trip to the hospital and use her genetic material to have a new baby through science. Are you ready to add a newborn to your household? Yes, here we go. And it is a boy. So we have a boy added to the household with all of these girls. Now, both Lily and Madeline kind of have like more classic sounding traditional names. And so I thought we would kind of go with that for all of Ren's children. I think it kind of makes sense a little bit with who Ren is. So I'm thinking we're gonna name this boy William. William Wims. Okay, and we have had a baby, and little William has joined the family. Oh my goodness. All right, Ren is going to come in right away and rock him and cuddle him, and then the girls are going to get to come in and meet him as well. The miracle of science. Oh, she has a whole heart sentiment with him. What bliss this new baby brings to Ren's life. How sweet is that? So Ren is kind of taking some time with William a little bit. And I think we'll have Lily come in as well. So Lily is going to come in and meet little William. Okay, so we just got a new family dynamic pop up as jokesters between Madeline and Lily. And I think especially with Madeline being really outgoing and kind of has a lot more social personality that probably makes sense so we'll let them be jokesters but lily's gonna come in and meet william first 
and see her little brother. Oh, and she she is being very cute about it. Maybe she can give him a little bit of a cuddle. She seems to have all positive sentiments right now. She probably thinks he's really cute. She's a lot older, so she probably doesn't feel quite as like overwhelmed or threatened by it, which is good. And then we'll have Madeline come in and meet William, although he's asleep now. Just be careful, don't wake him up. But she is going to talk to him. She's feeling really confident because she does have high confidence in and of herself. That came from Ren. Oh no, Madeline has gastroenteritis, better known as the stomach flu. Some rest, home remedies, and some over-the-counter and a nausea medicine can help until it passes. Better to stay close to the toilet, though. So maybe she shouldn't have a sleepover. But she is feeling happy from meeting her new sibling, so that's good. She's feeling good about that. And unfortunately, she's sick, so she's not going to be able to have a sleepover. But we will have another weekend with her as a child where I think she could have a sleepover. I think it'll be okay. But maybe she can call up a couple of her friends on the phone and talk to them. And maybe she could send a text to them and just kind of try to be social with those friends. Okay, Lily's responsibility is in range to earn the responsible trait. She needs to do homework one more time. I think though we're gonna have Lily go hang out with a friend this Saturday afternoon. Get out of Breechester. Maybe they'll head over to Copperdale and they can go over to the the pier over there in Copperdale and they can like hang out and get some ice cream and do something fun there. We'll have her bring Piper. So Piper was a new kid at school that she started talking to and getting to know and starting to develop a friendship with. And I think that maybe she felt a connection to Piper because she had moved to a lot of different schools as well. And since Piper was new and had just moved, I think she felt like this was a good person for her. And maybe we'll give Piper a bit of a makeover. <laughs> Piper is a spellcaster. That's interesting. All right, so we gave Piper a little bit of a makeover and made her a little less sim ish and a little bit cuter. So this is now Piper and her new look. And Lily is going to chat with her a little bit and work on getting to know her some. And in fact, maybe she can play football with Piper a little bit. She can tell her how much she enjoys being on the football team. And she'll be like, would you like to toss the ball around a little bit? And no, it's pretty chilly. So maybe we could do something and, you know, it could be a little bit active and we could throw around the football a little. And Piper seems to be on board with that. But be nice, Lily. Don't hit your friend in the face with a football. Or she's going to hit you in the face with a football, I guess. Be nice to each other. Oh, I guess Lily hit. Okay, Lily's running off to the bathroom. Maybe after Lily goes to the bathroom, we can bring them over here to the pier. Maybe they can do the haunted house. I don't know that they would want to go up on the Ferris wheel because it is freezing. We went to the pier and it's freezing. It's definitely not the kind of day that you want to get ice cream, but maybe we could get a warm drink after we do the haunted house ride. Well, I guess Piper, what is Piper doing? Piper's just running. Lily has gone on this ride. Maybe Piper was too scared because it's a haunted house ride. And so Lily decided to go alone. But we'll come over and have Lily get some apple spice nog since it's pretty, it's pretty chilly. And then they can sit over here together and chat a little bit and get to know each other a little bit better. Yeah. So they are sitting and chatting about a lot of the high school things. And Lily's talking about being on the football team and how it was really awkward for her at first. And she was really uncomfortable, but she's starting to feel better and more confident about it. Lily is talking to Piper a little bit and telling her about kind of her backstory and how she, you know, grew up in the foster care system and how she came to live with Ren and how Ren adopted her and how much better she feels now that she has like a family. And Lil and for Piper, she doesn't quite understand that because she's always had a family. She has actually quite a large family. And so she's feeling really glad that she and Piper have gotten to know each other and that they have become friends. They have a sentiment together. Oh, they've got my... I know they've got my back. Lily is confident and she does not have to feel nervous around Piper. 
So since Lily is socially awkward, she now has a friend in Piper, and it makes her feel a lot better. And maybe we'll have them take a selfie together and just kind of take a picture with each other uh, to remember this day where they've, like, hung out. And Lily is going to have to get back home because, you know, there's a new baby in the house and Ren's going to need help. But it was a good day for them. So they've got some selfies, and I think it is time now for Lily to head back home. Lily is back and hungry. Maybe we'll have Ren make some dinner. It is dinner time. So why don't we do some hamburgers? Oh, Madeline is not doing well. Oh no, Madeline feels just awful. Better rest and take it easy for a while. This isn't going away tomorrow. Rest, remedies, and a trip to the pharmacy. Oh dear. She's feeling feverish. She's got gastric gripes. Oh my goodness. And she's nauseous. She's really not doing well from this gastroenteritis. So maybe we better have her use the bathroom because she's feeling really sick. And maybe she needs to come over and have a little bit of a nap. Oh dear. William is crying. And since Ren is making some food, we'll have Lily come in and she can give him a bottle. Or Ren will beat her to it. I guess I guess Lily couldn't wait for the hamburgers and just dug into some fruit and yogurt parfait. I mean, okay. Oh, poor thing. She is so not doing well. She's feeling so sick. Maybe we'll have her come in and chat with Julia a little bit in the chat room. She is really wanting to see her friends that she made at school, but she's obviously really sick and she doesn't want to get them sick. So she's going to chat with them a little bit before going to bed. Oh, and Lily has come in to check on Madeline. They, their relationship has had a lot of ups and downs, but she obviously cares. So she's come in and she's telling Madeline a little joke to try to like perk her up. Lily also put this little photo that she and Piper took while they were at the pier in her room just to kind of be a commemoration for her and to remember that little trip that they took together. Okay, good. Madeline's condition is improving and she's feeling a little bit better. And little William has woken up with a dirty diaper, so we're going to have to send Ren down to take care of him and feed him and make sure he's all okay. She is actually, she kind of is doing okay with, you know, the, the newborn thing. She's feeling really good and really confident and really excited about the new baby and the new addition to the house. This is just feeling like kind of the, the next best thing for her. So the baby all taken care of, she is going to head back to sleep. Madeline lost a tooth. Okay, that's good for, oh, and she's still feeling really awful. She better hurry into the bathroom. She is... She's not doing well. She's still feeling really sick. She has a loose tooth. so She's not feeling good about that. She, her stomach still really hurts. She just really feels kind of awful. Poor kid. Maybe we'll have her brush her teeth and get a little bit of water. Have that kind of help her with her loose tooth. Uh oh, Lily is up and her, ins her blood sugar looks like it's not doing very well. We better check her blood sugar level. Oh, and it is really high again. Okay, let's have her inject some insulin, and then she should be able to eat. And Ren is coming down to tend to William, who will be having a birthday today. He will be aging up into an infant. Oh, goodness. Poor Madeline. We're going to have her come back up and nap and rest a little bit, because she's just, she's really struggling and just really not feeling well. I think once Lily is done with her homework, we'll have her come and take Pippa out for a jog. Lily is an active sim, so she does like to be active and run and do that sort of thing. And since Pippa is really kind of like her dog, like Pippa's, she's the one that Pippa's really like bonded to. I think that having her take the dog on a run would be a good idea. And Ren can work on grading some homework since it's Sunday. And she'll have to work on Monday. And having that done would probably be good for her job. I just got the pop-up that it is William's birthday. But I think that we are going to save William's birthday and aging him up into an infant for the next episode. Now, I do real quickly want to mention that... On Thursday this week, the next expansion pack for The Sims 4 is coming out, which is the first ranch expansion. 
And we will be doing a little Let's Play here on my YouTube channel like I usually do for game packs and expansion packs, kind of exploring that. So this will be put on hold for a little while. What I plan to do is explore that for a little bit and then come back to this and kind of alternate back and forth a little bit like I did with the Growing Together expansion pack. So this will probably be on hold for a week or so. So next week you'll just see probably the Horse Ranch expansion and then we will come back around to this. At which point we will celebrate William's birthday. He will become an infant and we will continue on with Ren and her story. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the science baby and I'm really curious to see what William is going to look like as we start to age him up. We do have to have one more child and we'll see once that baby comes then we can start thinking about who is going to be the heir. Lily is definitely out as the heir but Madeline and William are both possibilities as well as whatever baby number four might be. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!